in this video I'll show you how I tabbed ACI 318-14. I am taking the PE in April and I think it's really helpful to have my all my codes and standards tabbed so that I can find things quickly. Whether you're a student, or an engineer who works with concrete, or you have ACI and you want to be better at finding things, I think this video is for you. I'm gonna show you the tabs I did and also provide uh, a PDF in the description below with each symbol and each page that I use that symbol for each for my tabs. So if you agree with my tabs or if you disagree with my tabs, if you have any suggestions or comments, please let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear from you. So let's dive in. Um, first of all, I'm not going to go over every single tab that I made because uh, I think the video would be too long but I'd like to explain why I ta tabbed ACI the way that I did, which is um, different than my uh, tabs for the steel manual, which you can also check out that video for how to tab the steel constru construction manual. So for ACI, um, I'm, I'm planning to append my index card over here with additional tabs that you're gonna find in the PDF in the description below, and that will help me locate other things other than um, these tabs and I believe that index will be quicker than going to the table of contents and trying to find things through here. Now, ACI has 20, uh, 27 chapters. So what I did is I tabbed almost every chapter and then I numbered them here. And the reason I tabbed almost every chapter is because a lot of things are repetitive. For example, for one-way slab, you have the minimum slab thickness and you also have the minimum thickness for beams or the minimum steel ratio for one-way slabs, for two-way slabs, for beams, for columns. So all these symbols are a little bit repetitive and they depend on the chapter that they're in. So if I know that I, I need to find the um, minimum slab um, thicknesses for a one-way slab, I, I just go to the one-way slab chapter and then I, the chapter is short and I can find it right here. Or, alternatively, I could go to my index card and also locate it there uh, because I have a tab for the minimum slab thickness, which is this table. Same thing for um, reinforcement ratio. Let's say for this is the one-way um, slab. This table here helps me find the minimum steel that is required for um, non-pre-stressed one-way slabs. And this repeats for two-way um, slabs, for columns, for beams. So that's why I found it more helpful to tab each chapter. And then there are some miscellaneous tabs here that I, I personally chose from, for example, Clear Cover. I wanted a tab specifically for that because also in practice um, at work, I use this table all the time to find Clear Cover requirements or fee factors. Um, other tabs that I put at the very end are rebar and weld, welded wire um, fabric or which are here if I just want to see what the area is for a certain rebar size and then this other table on the back which I find also very helpful to design slab on grade is just gives me the the steel um, per linear foot of each welded wire um, fabric type. For example, let's say if I have a slab on grade that's um, W5 uh, five by five um, by six by six. So five by five is this guy here, and then six by six over there would be the spacing of the wires. So I know that per linear foot, I have 0 0.11. Um, square inches and then I can find my minimum um, the, the steel the area of steel that I have there and design my slab um, so this is pretty much it I don't want to go over every single tab but this is how I tabbed my ACI please let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my tabs or if you find them helpful I'd love to hear your feedback